patients. So uh, we do a test in the office called heart rate variability. The reason we do that test is because it's actually the best assessment of how equipped you are to handle stress. And you might be thinking, why is that important? Well, because your level of health is dependent on exactly how much stress you can handle. See, if you can't handle the stress in your life, you're going to be always, always sick. You, you, you'd be the kind of person who has a sinus infection in the summer when it's not even cold outside. Or you're, you're, you're feeling the run down, or, or you're the one walking around going, I'm so stressed, or there's too much stress in my life. Well, we need to measure that, because if we know what level or what stage of stress you're in, then we can come up with a plan, you and I, and we can work together with the other doctors on the, on the team to get that up. So imagine this, if your level of, uh, your heart rate variability says your stress adaptability is way up here and the stress in your life is way down here, you're not going to get sick because you're handling it. Even if your stress goes up to here, you can still handle it. You only get sick if your stress level goes above your ability to handle that. So the test, some of you have had this test already and we've had this discussion, but I just thought I'd make a video so we can play it for everybody and explain it. So the test looks like this. This is the result you get. And if we tell you that the, uh, the test the result is valid based on other parameters, then we look at this graph. Now this graph is called the frequency domain graph. And you notice there's a green area right here followed by a, a, around it is there's a yellow circle and then orange and then red. You don't want to be in red. Don't be in red. Red is dangerous. That means your heart rate variability is in a dangerous spot and, and you're in danger of potentially having heart issues or um, severe stress-related issues like adrenal fatigue. Anyways, the white dot you see right there, that would be the patient. And the green is where you want to be. If the dot is on this side of the black line in the middle, that means your body is in fight or flight. Your body, not your mind, not your thoughts, not your behavior or your emotions. Listen to this really carefully. It's how your body is functioning, how your digestive system is functioning, how your cardiovascular system is functioning, how your immune system is functioning. Those systems, which is outside of your conscious processes, those systems are acting as if you are in fight or flight. That means you, they're acting like you're stressed, you're worried, you're nervous, you're scared, you're about to run away from an animal or you're about to fight something. That's what your body thinks. In that state, um, you, you cannot heal, you cannot repair. The goal is to bring it back to center. Well, that's when we give you some exercises like breathing exercises and rhythmic repetitive exercises and uh, we ask you to take a nap throughout the day and there's, there's explanations of those. But for now, you just need to understand how to read this graph. If the dot was on the opposite side, that means your body is fatigued, tired. That's the person who falls asleep a lot can't sit through a lecture more than 20 minutes because they start to doze off. Can't watch a TV show because anything more than 20 minutes of a TV show you start to doze off. That's the person who doesn't want to get out of bed um, and, uh, and, and even when they get out of bed in the morning they're still tired. That's the person who can drink coffee. Now I'm talking about the extreme, right? Way down here in the red. That's the person who can drink coffee and still go to sleep at night and the coffee doesn't wake them up. That person would be on this side of the graph. We need to bring you to center. Then we need to bring you up, right? So when we bring you to center, we're balancing the body between fight and flight and rest and repair. But then we need to increase that ability to handle stress. So take a look right here. The dot here is way at the top. This is before, this is after. So this is a person who was under care for um, uh, probably about a year. And then we repeated the test and they scored really high. This person can handle a lot of stress and the stress in their life isn't gonna make them sick. So, uh, hopefully that helps you be able to interpret the heart rate variability graph a little easier, a little better. If you still have questions, certainly let us know. We'll be happy to talk to you about your particular results. Take care.